What we do here is go back, 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 back. back. I think the mic is working this time. All right, what's up, guys? So today I got you guys the Knuckle Buster stencil set. And um, yeah, this is, again, one of the stencil sets available at mikesbrush.com. Uh, we're going to go ahead and open it up. We're going to see what it looks like, how it comes. And um, yeah, we're going to give you guys a quick little demonstration of how to use it and why it's useful. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. All right, so <clears throat> you're gonna get your stencil kit. It comes in a nice plastic container. And this container is meant to be reused. So you can peel back this opening here and then you could uh, get your stencil out. And when you're done using your stencil, you're able to just put it right back in here and reseal it using that adhesive. So we'll put this aside. So when we're done, we'll put it back in there. Um, and then we'll get all the pieces here for you so you can see. So this set, the way this set was inspired was pretty much taking a problem and then just tried to come up with a brute solution and it actually came out really refined, which is something I was um, not expecting. So here we have all the pieces and I'm just trying to get them in order here. Uh, so this, the problem we were trying to figure out, or I was trying like to find a solution for, was like, what if somebody, you know, they find themselves needing the edges of curves a lot, right? Like you need this, whether you're making smoke, whether you're making fires, you know, you got these nice curved edges, and then, you know, you find yourself needing them a lot in different sizes. So I was like, how do I give that person as many curves as possible in one kit? So this kit includes all these pieces, all eight pieces here. And uh, as you can see, you have all the outer edges here. And then you also have the points. And then you got all the inner edges here. And you also have the nice rounded edge on all the pieces. So you got different edges here. And you also have insides. Not only do you have those then you also have these <laughs> so I tried to maximize on the kit as much as possible um, and give you as like I said so you'll have the the inside edge and then the outside edge and then if you need to tape these together if you just want to block it out like you just don't want to use this inside part for the particular design you're doing um, it's quite easy to just tape that into place and you won't have to you know as a blocker basically so all those come included. Um, the way our stencils come is uh, it's a six mil mylar sheet on one side. You can see the plastic shiny side um, and it's quite durable. And then on the other side, we have a paper front. So the reason for the paper is uh, if you're spraying airbrushing and you're using stencils, sometimes along the edge, you could get a buildup of uh, you know paint and sometimes they'll leave markings on your surface, right? So when you're painting and the buildup right there, and then you go to peel off your stencil and then you're like, oh, the edge there is so, you know, there's like a smudge or whatever. Um, the paper kind of helps absorb some of that. So if you're like uh, working with reduced paints, which is usually when it happens is if you're working with over reduced paints, working with a paper stencil like this, um, it's really nice. It's semi, semi absorbent. Again, it's up to a point. If you start caking paint on there, it's obviously gonna get wet. Um, but if you're doing light strokes, uh, you don't have to worry so much about the reduction or the reducer, you know, kind of giving you a hard edge. So, yeah. What's up, Stephen Ward? What's up, Paul Tarchala? How's it going, guys? The Skull Squad members in the chat. So, again, I'm just going to put these aside. We'll set up a little canvas here, just like I've done with the other ones. And we'll give you guys a quick little demo 
of just a few little possibilities that you could do with these stencils. So there you go. So let's get this camera right up in there. What's up, Blue? How's it going? All right, so I'm just going to start off with a little bit of black. Uh, we'll put a tape line here and we'll kind of do, you know, just like the other ones, I'll do a few different things here. Reducer in there. All right. And let me just lay a piece of tape down. And again, we'll just kind of go show you guys a quick little examples. And again, like most of the stencils, um, it's all based around creating effects. So, um, whereas the skull stencils, obviously those are ones that are just making skulls. These are kind of a, a multiverse, like, uh, you know, versatile. You could use them for various different things. So, let me despair so one of the easiest ways to demonstrate this is just kind of creating smoke so if you use the edges or like fire you know and the, and you know the cool thing like I said is you have you have all the curves see if you want to vary it up and you want to kind of create some more longer, wispier ones. Bam. But you also have these points, right? So, you know, you can create different effects using that. But then you also have these inside curves. So maybe you want to use something like... Uh, like so, right? Maybe bring it back around. So that's kind of the first obvious possibility. If you find yourself doing a lot of this type of stuff where you're just needing an edge. And yeah, you could just kind of keep playing with it after that. And you know, considering you have all the sizes you can really get creative with it. So again, if, if it was all about just like, how do I create as many curves on one kit <clears throat> um, without having to, you know, cut multiple different things and just, you know, be able to do it in one efficient kit. Um, and that's the knuckle buster kit. And the reason it's called the knuckle buster is because the shape is inspired from basically like it looks like you know <laughs> it looks like some brass knuckles <laughs> what's up Chris how's it going yep yep I seen your order come through um, it was actually I think I finished cutting it so it'll probably go in the mail tomorrow 
Um, it's a little bit late today already, and I have a lot of stuff to do. <laughs> oh my god! But um, yeah, uh, your stencil is already pretty much cut. Um, so yeah, this is the Knuckle Buster kit. You, like smoke effects are are one great easy possibility, and I'll just kind of edge this out right here. And that's smoke, but it, obviously if you do the red, orange, yellow, you know, you could get some fire also going. Right, so that's just a quick little use, number one. And then this, I'll try to create something real quick, but just to show you guys kind of what, what I mean by using edges. <clears throat> so we'll try to make a skull here. So right, because you have all these edges here, you could totally just use the edges. Right, we'll do one that way. Do one this way. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Maybe we'll put one of these guys right there. Put one right there. Hmm. Maybe one of these little sharp ones right at the edge right here. Bam. Then we can bring it back up. Right. Then we're going to need some of this. We'll flip it around for the other side. This guy. This. Bam. Then we can take one of our longer ones like this. Boom. Boom. Then an even longer one. Say this guy. Maybe we'll take this guy all the way. Like that. All right. And we're just kind of having some fun here with it. So get all that in there. This is me obviously just trying to be quick. <clears throat> but uh, you put a little more time into it. Or if you make a bigger skull, because this is obviously a little tiny skull too. And you can get yourself a little, you know, shapes. And all the shapes you need. Then you just kind of go in. So yeah, it's easy to build. You can build shapes out of this. Pretty simple. Wings as well. So like say if we want to give this guy some wings, feathers. All right, we could just start with this one here. Bam. So 
stuff like that. Pretty, pretty simple. Um, right on blue, we'll see you later. Uh, what's up, Jesus? How's it going? So as you can see, I mean, it's just all about all the edges with this stencil. <clears throat> Uh, you could obviously just kind of go around and just start playing with it all kinds, but, you know, from there, it's pretty much your imagination. The, the basic use cases is every time you, you find yourself needing an edge, um, a curved edge of some sort, is you could get this stencil out, and then whatever you're working on, and you could just be like, oh, man, I really need to match up that edge right there. And you could just, boom. Get your edge in, and then you'll be set, right? Like, you can move on to the next area. And it's pretty much an edger, right? That's that's what this whole kit is about. Um, so we can just throw this back in the back. Right, but if you find yourself, obviously this is, I tried to, well, I, I created a skull out of nothing. But usually you'll have a design drawn out, right? And I'll demonstrate that real quick. So if you have a design you're working on, and then I'll move the camera over here. So if you have a design you're working on in here, we take a pencil. Oh, that's, that's not a pencil. Cool. We'll take a pencil here. And say, uh, I don't know, we're going to do an eyeball, right? And we're just going to give ourselves a quick little outline of an eye. If you're doing on something on home, obviously, <clears throat> you're going to have your own design. And you just sketch it on here. Right? <clears throat> and you kind of give yourself some guidelines of where you want stuff to be. Right. And this would be like if you used a projector or something to get your design on there, right? And obviously you would go in and you would start trying to work some areas. But if you have it drawn out there, then you could just match up, right? Like, oh, I need this edge right here. Match up your edge. And then you could start building it from there. So this kind of doesn't match there. We can flip this guy over. Bam. Then we see how this one includes the inside edges. So <clears throat> when you need another curve going the other way. Right. And then you kind of bring in some freehand around there. Boom. Now we're going to hit that bottom. I would turn it around. Good. Give our eye some shading. Obviously, these are probably not the best for that, but in a pinch, you will work with what you got. Um, I would take this off if it was me, but try to do it with some, some of this and some freehand. But just to show you guys that it's possible, we'll use this guy. You see, and it's all about having all the curves. Because you just have all the curves, you just link them up. Bam. Right, then we can come back to the top.
Just put in your lashes and <clears throat> but just so you get an idea of how this stencil kit is used, that's pretty much it. It's meant to be used as an edger and uh, depending on your design you'll find yourself either using it a lot or not using it at all um, depending on your use case. That's just using black. Right, so there you go. Um, like I said, like most of our stencils, it's Part of it is stencil and part of it is imagination. This one is a lot uh, design dependent, right? So if you have a design where you're gonna need a lot of edging and 90% of designs will need some sort of edging. And that's what this stencil is all about. Like it was just about how do I create as many edges and curves as possible in, in one nice kit. So when I need edges, when I'm trying to get something to look nice and clean and sharp, I get this one stencil kit out and it's a wrap. I have all my edges. I don't have to spend tons of time trying to tape and unmask and do all that. I could just bust out my stencil and I'll be good to go. So then we just take our stencil kit. We can put it back in our container for next time. Right, a lot of people, a lot of people do not appreciate the, the plastic container for your stencil, right? And all you do is put it back in there and uh, I am working on some labels and maybe some package branding for these so that you know just from a glance from far away you could be like oh that's the knuckle buster kit um, but that's coming soon other than that uh, there you go if you're watching this in the future maybe yours already comes with some packaging labeling stuff if you're watching this right now uh, they this is how they come so this is what you can expect. Uh, like I said, there's six mil mylar, six mil mylar. There's a paper backing for absorption and it's great for edging. So that's pretty much all I got for you guys today. A um, Couple more days and we'll come back and we'll work. We'll have another stencil kit for you guys and another demonstration. We're gonna keep these coming every two days. Um, Skull Squad members, uh, there's gonna be some videos dropping for you guys. That's where the editing time is going, so I, I decided to spend the editing time on videos instead of trying to put edit all these videos together. These are just make cool, simple live streams, and when I try to make a video out of it, it's not so simple. <laughs> it, it turns out not to be so simple. Um, so this is just a quick way of getting them all out and updating the website and getting you guys uh, familiar with the Mike's Brush stencil kits. Um, which again, ordering yourself one of these stencils helps the channel bring you guys more videos, more tutorials, um, you know, with better, bigger equipment and better sound and all that good jazz. Um, so, yeah, thank you guys. Um, do an Amber Heard grumpy. <laughs> oh no, oh no. <laughs> um, so, yeah, what's up, Chris for Training Dragon? How's it going? Um, so, yeah. You're terrible at remembering to put your stencils away. Yeah, I used to be really bad. I used to just have a tub, uh, like a literal, like a tub with one of those plastic lids. And I would just, oh, it's a stencil, just throw it in there. And they would all end up getting stuck together and stuff. Um, and like these, because of their very nature, they're not made to really be glued onto something or something that much. Um, they don't really get stuck inside the packaging. But they're, it's just really nice to be able to have like, that's where that stencil is, and that's where this stencil is. You know? So I feel you, I feel you. <laughs> I used to not be the best at it either. Hey, but one man's mess is another man's wisdom lair. <laughs> Something like that. One man's peaceful knowledge lair is another man's mess. I think that's something like that. I don't know. Anyway, guys, uh, have a good day. We'll see you guys back here in a couple days. And have a good one. Thank you, thank you. Shout out to all the Skull Squad members in the chat. You guys rock. Skull Squad! Skull Squad! We'll see you guys in the next one, everybody. <laughs>
We'll see you guys in the next one. Later, everybody. <laughs>